Hi there guys, welcome to another Fusion 360 tutorial and we're continuing with our C-clamp. So, in this part uh, we need to make the cylinder that's down here and then also add our fillets to the edges. Alright, so, I'm going to um, start off by creating the cylinder. Okay, we'll do that creating a new sketch and we know from our drawing it's 16 in diameter 21.6 high so we'll just draw a circle out here that's 16 wide now I'm going to create a point and it snaps to the midpoint of this line and now I want to create a coincident between a, a perpen um, yeah, horizontal vertical um, coincident between the center point of the circle and the midpoint here. Okay, hold on. Let's drag this over there. Okay, uh, now try that again. Between the center point of this and the midpoint of that. There. Okay, so now it will. Um, go up and down but it kind of goes side to side because it's coincidental to this midpoint of there okay now we create a construction line whoops nope sorry what we first do is move this back to any position that we want and now we create a construction line from the midpoint to the tangent yeah, to the edge of the uh, circle here so we snap onto that Let's turn off this 3d sketch okay let's get closer in Let's turn off our grid snapping there okay now we throw a dimension on there dimension from this point to this point why is that not uh, <laughs> strange let's try that again construction line from here to here dimension there we go okay so we'll make this um, two and you'll see that it moves the circle and everything with it. All right. Now we want to make this into a construction line so it doesn't interfere with anything. Finish sketch. Now according to our drawing, uh, we're sticking up around two millimeters here and at the bottom here, um, not really sure, but the total height of this is 21.6. So if the total height of that is 21.6 and the total height of this is 15 then we have a little bit of math to do we're going to do a two-sided extrusion it's going to come up by 2 so 21.6 minus the 15 height is 6.6 .6. and if we take 2 off the top we get 4.6 so in this direction we're going to extrude out to there plus 4.6. Now watch this. We've got 15 plus 4.6. Does it for us. Join. Enter. And now that is all one part here. Okay. Now we're going to add our fillet to the top and bottom, which is about 1.5. Now we have our bottom part done, and this needs a hole through it. It's going to be threaded, so we're going to go um, to our hole tool, short key H. This will be tapped, okay? Um, flat, simple. We've got no countersink or anything to this, okay? And we click on this surface here. 
let's uh, make our profile a little smaller. You see when we drag this around, there's a little point there, that's the center point we can snap to. Okay. Our height, we go through all. And for the size here, we can choose different sizes. No problem there. Some reason not to take me all, so we're just going to go all the way through there, um, and we change that to twelve. Modeled. Good. Extents. Let's see. All there. Okay. Excellent. Right. So now we have our threaded hole there that our clamp can go to. Now we're going to blend in these edges. So it's this one. This one here, we'll make that two millimeters, and we also want to blend it in around the bottom here. We go to OK, and now we have our filleted bottom there. Now we will also add around the top here. That's going to be a different size. Let's make that one. We see that gives us some strange geometry here. Okay. And why is that? Well, because this also needs to be filleted as well to blend it in. So maybe we should do this edge before we do that edge. Okay. So this edge is actually chamfered. So we select these edges here, here, uh, not that one yet. Here and here, we chamfer that by two. Okay, and then put a radius onto these of two also. Okay. Sorry, why are we all the way back there in our timeline? Hmm. Sorry, I had this stuff left over from before, when I was practicing before uh, doing this, so we can get rid of these and this. Okay. Uh, edit this feature. We make this larger, I think we'll make this four. Okay. So now we need to read this around this top part here, okay? So all the way around here. Select these edges. It easy. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and 
these two. Uh, before we do that, this uh, sticks out a little bit, as you can see there. So what we should do first is pull this out. So throw a sketch on there. Join up these two corners. Finish sketch and extrude this out by two millimeters. And now we'll add on our fillet. Install all these edges here, this one, and this one. We make that two. Okay, and now we only have these edges here to do. So around here. Okay. And that's just a small one. It's going to be one. All the way around there. Okay. The same on the other side. Select this edge around here. There's two small edges there. Make sure we don't miss those. I'll make that one. Now, it's doing as an error. What's our error here? This edge. Okay, yeah, so the error is at this join here. You see we've got some problems with the geometry there in those two places. Let's see if we can fix this problem up here in this corner. So you can see here, it's not quite matching up, right? When we get close in, you see that issue there? It's not joining up properly with our top face. If we go to the other side, which didn't give us an error, I guess maybe we don't have that problem. If we zoom in there. Yeah, we do. Also here. It's not quite joining up properly, you see? So, one way we can fix this Cut that in first. And 
then create our geometry there. Let's see if that works also on the other side. Yeah. Okay. Problem solved. Grab this one here. Okay, so that seems to have fixed our problem. Um, let's try and just do this all now in one fillet. So we come back in and uh, edit this feature. Make that one on both. And now we can select these top edges. sides and that little gap there okay we got one okay and there we go we now have our fillet all the way around that back edge also Okay, so there is the um, now basic shape of our, of our um, C-clamp. It's coming along, and uh, in the next tutorial, what we're going to be looking at doing is putting in these um, depressed areas here, which um, are cutouts through the C-clamp. Okay, so thanks for tuning in to uh, Fusion 360 Tutorials. As always, the project file and links are in the video description below. I hope you find this useful. And I'll see you next time.